Hello and welcome to Shark Jets, I'm Skid Viz. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and fine tune our movement controls um, because they were kind of roughed in in the first few episodes and now I wanna just fine tune them so that it's more accurate to what you would actually use in a game um, and allow for rotation with the controller whereas before you had to manually or physically rotate, now you can actually spin around with the controls. So let's get into that. But first, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos uh, and I know that you love me. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so here we are in our project again. So uh, as always, if you're just joining us, please make sure to check out the beginning of this series so you can get caught up. Um, without further ado, uh, I wanna go in here and delete the old XR rig that we added in the beginning because we're using the new style here in the bottom. And I'm just gonna rename that to XR rig. And that is that. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is create a new script. So I'll just come over here, create new script. And I'm gonna call this smooth turning. And we will add that to the rig. And we'll open that up. All right, as usual, just let me go ahead and punch some code in and then I'll come back and explain it. Okay, so from the top, we of course need to add the Unity Engine and Unity Engine XR using statements so that we can access the right information. Then we go ahead and we create a variable called device that is of type input device, which is where we're going to store our controller. Um, the next variable we have here is a vector two called input stick. And that's basically going to hold the coordinates that we're pressing on the right stick. Then in our start method, we'll go ahead and assign the right hand controller to that device variable by using get device at node and then telling it which control we want. And then down in our update, that's where we're gonna do our magic as usual. So for our device, we're gonna try and get the value of the primary 2D axis, which is the joystick. And we're going to assign that value to the input stick. And then we're gonna have an if statement that says if the X of that input that we're getting, so if we're pressing the stick to the left or to the right, um, if the X on it is greater than 0 0.2, um, that's gonna give us a little bit of leeway so that we don't start spinning if we're just like resting our thumb on the controller. Um, it has to be a certain threshold. You can change that to your liking, but I've set it to 0 0.2. So we're saying if the stick X is greater than 0 0.2, so we're, we're moving in a positive direction, or that's a double braces here, or the double lines there, pipes, um, if the input stick dot X is less than negative 0.2, so now we're going in the other direction. So if we're doing either direction like that, we're actually pressing the stick to the side, um, then we're gonna call this method called turn. And I've declared this method down here. So it's got a variable called rotation amount, which is going to take the rig's transforms angle. So which direction we're already facing with the rig um, and we're gonna add the input from the controller, this the input stick dot X. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate a direction to look at based on that rotation amount. So we're gonna create a new vector three, which is going to use the rig's current X angle, um, the new angle that we're gonna provide with that rotation amount that we created, and then the rig's current Z angle. So we're gonna leave all that the same. We're just gonna add in basically the rotation amount that we've calculated above. And then we're gonna do the rotation by calling quaternion.euler um, and, spoiler, and passing it that direction vector. Uh, and that's gonna make us rotate to that new direction. So let's go ahead and try that out real quick. Okay, as you can see, if I push the stick to the right, I rotate to the right. If I push it to the left, I rotate to the left. And if I just barely nudge it, we'll get some slow mo movement. 
could go slower if I lower that barrier, that uh, that boundary from 0 0.2 to maybe 0 point something else. Um, but as you can see, that's working exactly as expected. Next thing we're gonna do is go back into our mover script where we were adding in the, uh, the ability to move forward and backwards with the left controller. We're gonna go ahead and just update this code so that um, we can actually move to where we're looking. So uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so from the top, we've got our using statements from before. We are creating uh, the input device like we did in the other one. Uh, we've got the character controller so that we can move the character. We've got a vector two for our input axis, which is gonna be the left joystick. We've got a game object that's gonna hold the variable for the camera. So we're when we know where we're looking. And so in our start, we are going to assign the left hand controller to the device variable. We're going to assign the character controller to the character variable. And we're going to assign the rigs game camera to the camera variable. Inside the update, we're going to check to see if the left stick is being pressed. Uh, if so, we're gonna assign that information to that input access variable. Then we're gonna create a couple new variables here, or for a few of them actually. Um, the first one is input vector. This is a vector three that basically holds um, the direction that the uh, controller is being pushed in. So we're getting its X value and its Y value for our uh, X and Z coordinates. And then we're adding here this physics.gravity.y and that's gonna apply physics um, and gravity basically to the character controller so we can actually fall now, whereas before we were kind of floating no matter where we landed. So um, that's what that is. There's a section in the settings here. If you go to, if you go to project settings, physics, the very first thing here is gravity and you can apply uh, different gravity in different directions and stuff like that. But the standard gravity is this negative 9.81. Um, and so we're going to be using that value. So if you want to change the amount of gravity, this is where you would do it. So we're using physics.gravity. We're creating a new vector as our input vector. And then we're going to transform that input vector into a direction. Uh, so we've got a variable called input direction, which is going to take the rigs transform and basically turn the information that we're passing into it to a direction that applies to the rig. So it's gonna transform that vector into a direction for the rig. Um, the next thing we wanna get is the camera. So where are we looking with the camera? So we've got a variable called look direction. That's also a ve vector three. We're passing it a zero for the X. We don't care about that. But then we're getting the cameras transforms Euler angle dot Y. So we're finding out which direction we're pointing with the camera at our Y uh, direction. And then we're passing a zero again for uh, the Z. And then the next thing we're doing is we're calculating the new direction based on that information that we just gathered. So we got a variable called new direction, which is a vector three that's uh, the return of a quaternion dot Euler we pass it the look direction, we multiply that times the input, and that'll give us our new direction. And then finally, we do a character.move, and we pass it the new direction as to where we wanna go. We multiply that times time dot delta time, so it's smooth. And we're passing this times one as the speed of movement. So if we wanted to go faster, we would change this number, we could create a variable for that. Um, so let's go ahead and test this out and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and our left and our right and our forward and our back is still working as before. But now if I turn my head, I'm gonna go ahead and back up a little bit here. If I move forward and turn my head, you can see that the camera is now guiding the navigation as well as the controller. So I'm still pushing up on the controller. Um, same thing with back, if I turn my head, I'm backing away from wherever I'm looking uh, not just a fixed back. And our turn is still working as well. 
And now as an added bonus, we can actually fall to our death. Well, we can fall forever. Whee! And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. In future episodes, we'll keep fine tuning this and actually uh, start working on making this a real game. Um, so let's keep working on that together. If you have any questions or you wanna know how to do anything else, let me know and I'll see if I can work it into the schedule. And as always, please make sure to like and subscribe to let me know that you want me to keep, keep making videos. Um, and that's all for this time. I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.